I'm not a fighting game content creator. No one goes on Twitter thinking in the morning, I can't wait to spread some misinformation today. It's only spreading misinformation because you haven't told me that I'm wrong. If you tell me that I'm wrong, I can delete the tweet and stop spreading misinformation. Your videos inspired me to go to my first local. That's so good to hear. That's exactly what I love to hear. Because because I had never been to one until like last year. Well, it's not that Reddit doesn't like me, but basically I remember when I got burned. Do you remember when I got, I got the information about Momochi wrong? This is my fault for getting it wrong, I suppose. But I got I I I I joined the Momochi pot stream a bit late, and so I didn't hear what he was talking about. I assumed he was talking about Evo Japan, but basically he had been talking earlier in the stream about the fact that he was able to not he was not able to receive money from a CPT event, but he was able to receive money from Evo Japan. But even then, when you go back and watch the archive, it's not very clear. Um, exactly what he was trying to say. I, I think it's also there's there's a lot of stuff that's like clear It's still just not very clear Legally and all that anyway, I got that wrong and instantly like I just I just someone like copied and pasted my tweet and instead of me instead of tweeting me and saying Are you sure that this is correct? I'm also watching the podcast. I don't think the um, Information is quite correct. It ended up like a screenshot of my tweet and then I was on reddit and it was like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, and he's spreading misinformation. I was like, dude, it's only spreading misinformation because you haven't told me that I'm wrong. If you tell me that I'm wrong, I can delete the tweet and stop spreading misinformation. No one goes on Twitter thinking in the morning, I can't wait to spread some misinformation today. It's like, jeez. Anyway, it wasn't like a hundred people. It was literally, you know, one guy who tweeted, it was one guy on Reddit and then another guy who wrote in the comments like, yeah, I don't know who this guy is or wh why he's saying that. But it's enough to make you feel a bit rotten that day, isn't it? It put me off wanting to translate anything because the truth is, I'm not, I'm not unbelievably perfect at Japanese. I'm aware of that, but I, I, just, I just wanted to be kind of helpful in the time when there was, you know, stuff being said and it was all in Japanese. I thought I was helping, but you know, you get burned, you get burned and People like to talk about communities as if there's one big community on the planet. They're like, the big community! But it's not. It's, it's a big planet with lots of completely different communities. And people would love to say like, oh, you know, I had a bad experience with community. And everyone's like, what are you talking about? Community is nothing like that. It's like, well, guess what? There's more than one community. Just because you had a great time, doesn't doesn't mean you can show up on someone's tweet and say you're wrong No one experiences it like that. Everybody's friendly and you're spreading misinformation. It's like shut up There's more than one community. It's not one big community ah! Sorry, I hope I'm not yelling. I don't I'm not I'm not actually angry, but I am passionate about this topic I was thinking about getting the hungry gamer to appear on the event hubs podcast. I would love to be on a podcast I'm just really scared because I'm not a fighting game expert. Something I've, I've, I've said actually on Twitter as well is I'm not a fighting game creator. I'm not a fi I'm not I'm not a fighting game content creator. I just make content and it happens to feature fighting games. But I feel like there's a difference, right? I feel like there's people who make content because they love the community. So the content they make is to serve and give back to the community. And it's really, really clear how passionate these people are. They don't care too much about the views. They don't care too much about the money. They don't care too much about building a content platform. They care about making this one video, which is gonna explain everything that we all need to know and get it online so that people have that information. And that's really awesome. Communities love and need stuff like that. They love when there's like a great interview with this person that no one else has access to. It's like, it's a, it's incredible. But <laughs> as you've probably seen on my channel, it's nothing like that. I don't do anything out of a love for fighting games. I do it all because I just like to make videos. Like I bought this controller, so I made a video about a controller. Or I'm playing this game, I'm having a good time, I want you all to know about this thing that I discovered. I don't do it for a love of the community. That doesn't mean that I don't love the community though. I love the community. I love my community. 
and I love that all the communities are different. What I don't love is when people generalize about someone's opinion being wrong just because their experience was different. It's like, well, guess what? This person and you might be, and this is, this is hard to understand, I know, the two of you might be in two different communities that treat people in different ways, and you may have different experiences. I don't mean to be contrarian, but I like your fighting game content, even though you don't think you're a fighting game content creator. Exactly! Well, th this is it! Clearly, this is fighting game content. I just don't call myself a fighting game content creator, because I'm not doing it for the community. But when you go and watch some of these other channels, it's so clear that it comes from a place of love for their communities. My, my channel is just the me show, and it's just like, I just want to travel to this place and do this thing and show you whatever it is I feel like showing you. It's very like, I do whatever I want, and that's like the point of the show. But with these like, FGC love channels, it's about the passion for the community, and they're both, either way you want to run your channel, they're both fine. It's very important not to assume that someone's doing it out of a love for the community, when actually they might not be doing it for those reasons. It's possible <laughs> for people to have different motivations, and that's hard for some people to understand. And then it makes them get upset. For most of you guys in the, in the you know, for most of you has-beens in the chat, it's, it's not a problem. No, no, I think none of the people here in the chat have this misunderstanding. It's just when I get accosted by a random comment or something on a video, and it's just like, wait, wait a minute, I think you got the wrong idea. You just got the wrong idea. If you don't, if you go in with the wrong expectation, then it, you're likely to be disappointed. Take your points and run. <laughs> that's that's the sort of Street Fighter V advice that I give. You never know what's ahead of you, Nihongo Gamer. Maybe in two years we can watch you at CEO 2021. That would be amazing. I would love to go to these events. Again, you've seen you've seen the way I play. I'm 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 honest about my level. You can't lie about your level. Look, my LP. It's right... It's right there. I'm not trying to convince anyone that I'm ultra high rank, but I am very... I am very serious about wanting to play the game and learn more about the game. And have fun while playing the game.